when the pandemic struck, none of us realised how intense it was going to be. Tens of thousands to millions of people dying. Universal. Crazy to me. This is Tim. He suffers with depression and mental health issues. I've been speaking for Tim for some time now. This is Tim's journey. I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. I know the damage that this disruption is doing and will do to people's lives, to their businesses and to their jobs. The way ahead is hard and it is still true that many lives will be lost. I don't have a clue what I'm going to do. I've got no money. I've got dogs to feed. I've got no food for myself. I lost my mum in August. Being evicted. I just I don't know what to do. I don't know where to turn. Sort some out. And I'm just drinking too much. If you had three ways to make a change. What would you change to make things better? The pandemic's got everyone in depression. And Tim's day's just about to get worse. But remember, it's only you who can make the change. Tim only lost his mum three months back To think he's gonna lose this house that quick It's all what he's got left of his mum He needs the help He's in a rut Today couldn't be any worse, I mean Have you seen the guy? He looks like his life's perfect, right? There must be bright days around the corner I don't know, knowing Tim, he'll be sorted. Won't you, Tim?
Hello. Hello, is uh, Joanne there, please? Yes, we can. Uh, hi, Joanne. It's uh, Mr. Mockers. Um, I was wondering whether I could uh, get in to see you before I get evicted in five days. Yeah, sure. Just let me check when I'm next available. Thank you. Would 3.30 be okay on the 1st of February? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Thank you very much. Excellent. I'll see you then. Yeah, thank you. Okay, nice one. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. England and Wales, possessions are being carefully wrapped and boxes packed ready to move. Tens of thousands of renters are being forced out, some without other accommodation readily available. For this renter in East London, whose identity we're protecting, she has managed to sort a new home, but her landlord has made the last few months challenging. He's been trying to evict me because he wants to refurbish the flats um, so we can charge more money to new tenants. Um, so he increased the rent quite significantly in the first stage of that um, and then once lockdown happened I hoped that I, you know at least I would have a little bit of respite but he continued to bully and harass me. He was sending one of his staff to bang on the door in the window unannounced. Um, he even walked into my bedroom while I was asleep with an architect in tow claiming he was there to measure up um, which was very distressing for me. She's going to help me mm -hmm. uh, find somewhere and I've got to go to a food bank. Uh, right, okay, is this all getting done today? You do know there's a 24 hour helpline service out there. Yeah, in this situation. Yeah. Okay then, so I'll take your keys and okay. watch I'm sorry you're in this situation. Uh, Okay. Right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 
On Friday, the government gave an unprecedented instruction to local councils, giving them 48 hours to find emergency accommodation for all of England's rough sleepers. It's part of the national effort to curb coronavirus by emptying public spaces and isolating the population. But days after the deadline, London charity Glassdoor says the good intention has not materialised. So the government's called on councils to house all homeless people by the end of last weekend, yet many people are still on the street. And those who were told to wait for their phones to ring have been waiting for days, with phones dying and with no means of charging them. Councils need to get rid of the bureaucracy and help everyone, regardless of whether they have the paperwork to prove where they have spent the past five years or not. And that's the only way we'll make our streets safer for vulnerable people and for the public. Hi, Alan. Oh, Miss Marcus, we managed to be housed and they are actually calling to get the keys up today. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Thanks very much. Bye. We called to get the keys. I'm actually in. It's beautiful. Oh, so you found it okay then? Yeah, and thank you so much for leaving the few bits on the side for me. Oh, no worries. Only a few things so you can get yourself sorted. Oh, no, no. You've been more than brilliant. Thank you so, so much. I feel really settled, really happy. The dogs are settled. Yeah, I'm just having my first coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I will do. Okay, again, thank you. Okay, take care now. Bye. Bye. Oh no. 